In one of my recent videos, I mentioned making something that can fly isn't that complicated. By following a few simple rules, you can get this sheet of foam to fly in just like half an hour. And so I guess I've decided to make that again and document the process. For this build, Carly's going to be building the airplane. We start by going to the online flying wing CG calculator where we put in the dimensions of our wing. This sheet of foam board from the Dollar Tree is 30 inches by 20 inches. The calculator tells us that the plane will have to balance just 4 inches back from the leading edge in order to be stable. So let's mark a spot 4 inches behind the leading edge for later reference. I predict that all of our equipment will have to be as far forward as possible for the plane to balance here. This large motor is mounted to a sheet metal motor mount that Sam made, but plywood mounts work too. The ESC can get glued down wherever it's convenient. And it's time to cut out some control services. These are elevons, because they act as both the elevator and the ailerons. The bigger they are, the more maneuverable it will be. So this seems about right. You want them to be roughly symmetrical. The edges have to be beveled so the ailerons can hinge in both directions. Yeah. Plug in your servos to the radio system and set the transmitter to elevon mode. You'll save yourself a ton of headache if you arrange the servos so that they are going the right way now, instead of trying to fix it on your transmitter later. Oh. Like Left. We can bend and cut our own push rods by making Z-bends like this. This is some music wire that Sam purchased in a variety pack. Now, we glue the servos and control horns down in a place that looks good, and tack the receiver up somewhere too. This thing now needs some sort of vertical fin behind the center of gravity to keep it tracking straight like a weather vane. Otherwise, we won't have enough directional stability and it will just slip sideways and lose control. The shape doesn't matter, I freehanded this from some more foam. See if it is balancing okay, and then glue some velcro down where you want to put the battery. And that's all there is to it! Let's go fly! Since I don't want to kill it, I'll let Sam do the flying. Alright, so the checklist is... We got parts that move in the correct direction. We have a vertical stabilizer, and it balances at the CG. Oh yeah, and we have power, which is nice. You can make power. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> Yeah, it works. You probably didn't actually have to throw it. I could have just took it off. But it was so hand. much fun just to launch it like that. What a ridiculous little flying cheetah foam board. <laughs> It's so awkward, Sam. It's so awkward? Yeah. Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at those things flat. <laughs> Let's just do a roll. Like that. Right. It's a good little touch here. Alpha wing? High alpha is high angle of attack. <laughs> you hear that goat? That's actually really fun. You want to try, uh... What are you doing? Taking a selfie? Yeah. Ready? So ready. Whoa! <laughs> I was a little bit scared there for a second. Let's try that again.
Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Motor mount came off. What about the rest of this? You broke a... Yeah, so that's broken off. So pretty much all we need is uh, some hot glue and maybe some reinforcement and then it'll be perfect besides that corner but I don't think I'll notice a difference. So I don't know what happened but that was fun.